Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and what I wanted to do this is the second video in our Exploring a Next. In the first video we basically installed Next, we created a Postgres database, we migrated a table, so now we're going to add to that table. So basically here in our index file, which we're just going to run once just to run this command, and that command is going to be so this represents our database connection. We put that together last time. So we're going to do PG, PG, okay. And then we have to put the table name. So the table name was practice table. And I can just check that by looking at the migration we ran. Over here, yep, practice table, lowercase. So practice table. And basically, it's like making an SQL query, except kind of in a more of a JavaScripty type syntax. So let's say dot insert. So that means I'm going to insert a record into that table. But instead of you know typing it out all SQL like, I can just put uh, a object inside the parameters. So our parameters were let's see here. The ID is going to be automatic and it's going to increment. So we, we don't have to worry about that one. So we can just we just have to define word and price. Okay. So we can just say word. Okay, is hello and price is 2555. Cool, and that's that. And then just so I know that something prints onto the screen, I'm just going to console log YOLO. Cool. Save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run that index file node index.js and let's see how it goes. Okay, console log YOLO. So that means it did run, so that's good. It didn't throw us any errors. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get back that information. So we're gonna actually run our first query. So see, I can just insert and I can just change that again. Hello, five and make this 245, 2545. Save it, run it again. It'll just insert another table. There it goes again, cool. So now I'm gonna query see if I can get those two records. So I'm gonna delete all, delete all of that. I'm still looking in this particular table, but now I wanna actually get back. So what I'm gonna do is I actually wanna save this. Mm. How do I wanna do this? Do, 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 do. I wanna put this in a function. Okay, so what I wanna do is we're gonna create a function. Const get data equals asynchronous function because I want to use the async await. Async, I don't really care about what goes on in there. Actually, why not? We'll put our, we'll put our, uh, actually, I don't even need to, but whatever. We'll put any search parameters in here as, as a parameter. Okay. And then we do is write PG. We're going to say results, const results equals await PG, so we're connecting to the database, we're connecting to practice table, and we're going to do, we're going to, well, we're going to select everything, so we, don't, we, we can just put a blank, select all. Do I need to put a asterisk? Mm, I don't think I do. Let me just double check. Okay, no, 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 I don't. If you don't, put, if you just leave it, leave it empty. It's the select. It's like if you put the asterisk in SQL well, query. That's what I thought. Okay, then dot where, and then you would put any parameters here. So I would just put our search here. Cool, and that would get that. And then we wanted to return those results. So return results. Okay, and save us some time. We're going to console log the results. So log the results, so we don't have to worry about like async issues. They'll just console log them, and I just need to run this function now. Get data, and then we're not going to search for anything in particular. Save. Cool. So now I'm going to run node. Oh, there's a problem. Let's find out. Type error, the operator undefined is not permitted. 
Okay, it's talking about the search. So let's take off the where. Okay. And just leave it like that. Let's take off the search. We'll come back to that. Save. Well, let's run that again. Control C. And it gave us an empty array. But there should be records in that table. So let's select all from books. Let's investigate. Let's go back to our Heroku table, see if they actually data got stored in there. Overview, one connection. There are two rows, so that means those two records that we did save in there did save in there correctly. So that means the issue is with my query. Bounce PG, YOLO. It's close to await results, but it might be console logging the results before they return. Bounce a lot of practice tables. Oh, wait, I have this over here, so I should probably, that might be interfering with it. Uh, practice table dot select. That's the, basically should be it. Let me reformat this. Let's do pg dot select dot table practice table. There's different ways to get to the same place. So here I'm selecting all from this table. So let's try that and see if I get us what I expected to get. Control C. No, it doesn't get us those records. But they do exist. They were created. We can see that. So that's cool. And there's three tables. I must have run the migration too many times. Let's see here. And what am I looking for? So another useful tool for examining a Postgres database is an app called Postbird, which I have loading up right now on my screen. Um, I have a lot of things going on on my screen, which is why it's loading slow. But I'd recommend downloading it. You can just do sudo snap uh, install Postbird would install it. And you can just connect via your URL. So literally, I could just copy this URL from here. Control C, put that in there, and then connect. Okay, so there's our practice table, nice. And this allows us to see the schema, so basically this all looks like the way we said it when we did our migrations. Then look at the content, ID, word, and price, there's supposed to be two entries in here. We saw we saw it says two rows, but I guess not. So that means it must be referring to these rows right here. Got it. Okay, so basically our insert did not work and that's why we're not coming up with the query. So the query is working. It is definitely searching the database, but our insert seemed to have failed. Um, okay, cool. Let me actually just insert a record here real quick. Uh, 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 can I do that from here? You can definitely edit fields. I never actually tried to insert something from Postbird. Probably from here. Okay, let's just do a normal query here. Okay, so let's we have some snippets to save me some time. That's probably not going to save me time right now. Do 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 do. Create view. Add column. I don't want to create a view, I just want to create a record. Okie dokie. Um, okay, so basically the command should be insert into practice table. Okay, and uh, those columns were. Okay, let me just check here. ID word price. ID word price. 
Oh, I don't need to insert the ID. That's going to be automatic. Practice table. Values. Hello. 55.55. Okay, let's run the query. Oh, I spelled values wrong. Column hello does not exist. Um, insert into practice table. Okay, that works. What we'll do is actually get rid of this. Let's see here. Mm, well, let me put a semicolon here. Because this should be just the values, not the... I think this needs to be a single quote. I think that's the issue. I always get confused which one it needs to be when I'm doing SQL. Especially in Postgres. So let's see here. Does that run? Invalid input syntax for integer hello. Why does it think it needs to be integer? That's probably why our inserts failed. Bar char fifty five. No, that's right. Valid input syntax for integer. Oh, well, there's a comma here, so that's probably causing a problem. Save. Hmm. SQL just doesn't want to behave with me today. So insert into practice table, that is good. Values, one, two, and three. Well, those are the values. Oh, but I'm not inserting for all the, that's why it's happening. It's thinking hello and one insert hello is the ID. I need to specify that the first thing I'm, I'm inserting is word. And the second thing I'm inserting is, um, what was it, price, I think it was. So let's go back over here, take a look at the structure. So we're learning about Postbird as well. Neat. You're learning a lot in this video. Um, price, yes. Okay. So there we go. Let's go over here. Hello does not exist. Well, let's go back to the single quotes. Single quotes were right before. And there we go. Okay. Let me just change this, make a four. Hello. I'll run that again. Okay, let's go to content. And now we have two entries. Okay. So I did something wrong when I did the inserts. But now, if we run this again. Now that we know there's records in there, we should be good. So control C. Let's run that. And there you go. Okay. So when we run await PG select table practice table, it comes back and returns us our two records. Okay. So next, usually a lot simpler than that. I just messed up the whole insert piece some, somewhere along the lines. So that's why we ended up having that whole side journey. But in that, now you kind of know how to diagnose. You can use Postbird to go check the database and work with the database from there, uh, just in case, so you can double check your stuff. And Postbird's free, which is awesome. But essentially, that's that's basically you can now. If I wanted to like filter it and just say, hey, I just want the one that says hello, so I can do uh, table. So let's say if I were to do select, uh, so basically select from table. Then I can just add a dot where, and then here I can go put my search query. So I can say, hey, I want only the records where word equals hello. That's it. That's all I want. No other records. Now notice I have to keep killing it. It's because I have no command that ends the database connection. So the database connection stays open, which is, I should close it. But just so you're aware why I'm doing that. So I'm running it again. And see, it only finds me one because I'm searching for the one where the word is hello. 
so what, I mean, once you have it set up, it makes querying the database really, really easy and adding stuff to the database pretty, pretty easy. It's because it just feels like JavaScript functions. Uh, that's what makes it really, what makes Next really cool. And then now if we want to get rid of this table, okay, we can just create a new migration. So I'll do that as a final video. So I will see you guys in the next video.